Good morning and welcome to another episode of Dinosaurs and Mysteries. Now I'm here at St. Elphin's Church. It's been a while since I've actually done a proper shot of the place. But yeah, um, I've not actually got a specific plan for this video. Uh, so there's a few things that I want to discuss, a few thoughts that I've had regarding several unexplained phenomena. Um, so yeah, uh, just go for a walk and talk about a few things of the unexplained and let me know if you find any of them interesting. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another episode of Dinosaurs and Mysteries. So I recorded this video two weeks ago. The first segment of the video was fine. The little introduction that I did at St Elphin's Church at a different location. But when I come to edit this bit at this graveyard from two weeks ago, no audio. Absolutely none. Anyway, I'm back here recording the exact same video. So, two things I want to talk about. Um, and these was, it was quite a spontaneous video really. Not so spontaneous anymore, but ghosts. So we all know what ghosts, well, we don't know what ghosts are. That's the point of this video. Um, but we all have heard of ghosts. People do ghost hunts. People have seen ghosts. People hear knocks. Um, there are very, very famous ghost hunters, people that can allegedly speak to spirits or ghosts. Uh, so yeah, I just want to talk about what different people think ghosts are, or what ghosts could be. So, let's indulge into ghosts. So as time goes on, the theories of what, not just ghosts, but unexplained and unknown things are, the list just goes on and on. So, one of the, obviously, the most common theories of a ghost is that it is the spirit of someone that has died and it is, it is lingering. They are in, they're not in heaven, they're not in hell, they are in limbo. That's the word I was looking for. That's the most common obvious theory. Now, another theory is that the ghost is effectively an imprint or a memory that is captured to a certain place or a certain place, building, house, or environment, or grounds. And what you are seeing is effectively what that person would have been doing as if they were alive. The, the environment, the building, has captured the memory, an, Im Im an imprint of that person doing that thing. And we are seeing a reflection of that. Now, a more modern theory is linked with another uh, phenomena, or phenomenon, and that's shadow people. So shadow, shadow people um, is something that's kind of, that word's been thrown around a lot more over the last decade or two. And people start thinking, could ghosts and shadow people be linked, or could they be one in the same? Now, I've done a video, a separate video about shadow people a couple of months ago, which has actually got, it was actually quite popular. It's got over 3,000 views. Um, so if you want to know more about shadow people, go watch that video. Um, but another theory is that could ghosts and shadow people be one in the same? But the only difference is shadow people literally, when people have sightings, it's a dark shadow. But when people see some ghosts, they can they can, you know, they can see clothing and facial features and expressions in some, in some sightings. Another theory regarding ghosts is sort of linked to the limbo theory. Now, I find this really interesting. So people are suggesting that there might be a different realm or uh, a different dimension. Now, different dimension has been mentioned a lot more over the last... Um, few decades, not just with ghosts, but any other sort of unknown uh, creature or cryptid or anything that's unexplained, could it be slipping through from a different dimension? Now, this is also a really controversial theory that gets a lot of people within the unexplained ghost, cryptid, paranormal um, 
you know those kind of groups get some people really annoyed that people would even bring this theory up um but i do think it's quite a good theory because you see them one second and the next they're gone and sometimes they look relatively transparent or translucent um so it's kind of like they're here but they can't they can't stay here they can't be here fully um so i think that's a really good theory and that also interlinks um aspects of other of the like i just said other parts of the unknown whether it's cryptids um shadow people other parts of the paranormal etc which would give some people hope people that believe in the afterlife or they're scared that when they die that they're just going to cease to they're just not going to exist anywhere but they could they might be able to exist somewhere if there is some kind of I mean, if you are Christian or religious, you may believe in heaven and you may think that you're going to go to heaven. And if that's your belief, then I hope that does happen for you. But if you don't, if you're not a Christian and death is something, sorry, this is getting a bit deep now, but death is something that you've, that you've worried about or you, that you think about, then the possibility of there being another dimension or realm that you may go to and you may exist in might be comforting for some people deep part over let's move on so if there's a different dimension or realm which i've mentioned this in videos about other un unexplained things then that is why maybe em things like emf readers pick up on electromagnetic energy that we can't explain because maybe it's picking up on energy from a different a different dimension that crosses paths with this what the dimension we're in um sounds a bit complicated and again it's all theory when it, anything to do with the unexplained all we can do is theorize investigate and speculate that's all we can do that's why you have so many people with different theories and but then you get people disagreeing with people and even people that believe and that are really interested in the same phenomena, you find that they, a lot of the time, they disagree with each other. Uh, and sometimes they're really unpleasant to each other, which I think is wrong. If you can't prove something, then how can you shoot someone else's theory down that harshly, in my opinion? Another point regarding ghosts and the interdimensional theory, or even the theory which a ghost is a memory that is saved or embedded in a certain space, place or time or building. A good example of this is when people take photographs and within the photograph there isn't a strange uh, figure or ghost but when the photograph is examined later, whether it's on digital format or old film format, they then can see a figure of a human-like person or ghost um, that looks very human and it's got clothes on and sometimes it looks like that this person's from uh, an older time uh, from 100 years ago or but on some modern photographs that people have captured um, strange figures on it's very modern and people think that this is people that have uh, passed away recently or passed away in the last few years but on some of these photographs, it's very, very, very clear. Sorry, I'm stuttering a little bit because it's very cold. Um, on some of these photographs, it's clear that the people or ghost within the photograph is centuries old based on what they're wearing. So, yeah, there is lots of theories of what ghosts are and what they could be or where they could come from. Um, and then we have, then we go into the realm of people trying to communicate with ghosts, which is a topic for a different day but i just wanted to i just wanted to go through it's quite a simple video really simple question what is a ghost what do you think a ghost is do you think ghosts are here all the time and um, we just occasionally see them do you think a ghost is uh, a spirit that slips through into our reality from a different place or do you think a ghost is essentially a, an electromagnetic type of energy that it's a memory and that memory is embedded within 
a place, time or building that had something to do with the person it once was when it was alive. So if someone spent a lot of time in a certain area and then they passed away, their ghost could be seen in that area more than other areas. Lots of what ifs and maybes, but um, yeah, I just, I thought of this a few weeks ago, well I've thought of this for years, but um, just wanted to do a, sim a simple question, what is a ghost, where do they come from, how do they get here, what do you think, do you think it's simple, they're just literally, it's a spirit of a past, someone who's passed away that is lingering, or is it a bit more complicated and they go to a different place, uh, there's a different realm, different reality and they slip through the gap somehow, let me know, ghosts, what are they? Now. I'm nearly at 900 subscribers, which means I'm nearly at 1,000 subscribers. Um, so if you're new to this channel, please check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and sh share this content, share my channel or my video with, uh, with people that you think might be interested. I know every YouTuber says the same old uh, malarkey, but it's very true. Uh, considering a change in the name of my channel soon, considering I've not made a dinosaur video in two, maybe three years. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to now do a video about UFOs, completely different. Uh, so, as ever, stay safe.